Hi everyone, we're going to look to see now using the Pythagorean theorem, is it a right triangle? If we're given three side lengths, is it a right triangle? So this is called the converse of the Pythagorean theorem. So the Pythagorean theorem says if it is a right triangle, if we're told it's a right triangle, then a squared plus b squared has to equal c squared. That's what the, the original Pythagorean theorem says. The converse flips that. If so if a squared plus b squared equals c squared, then right triangle. It's the opposite. Instead of saying it's a right triangle, we can use a formula. It's saying if the formula works, then it's a right triangle. So we're just going to test these numbers. We're going to see if they work in the formula. And if they do, then we have a right triangle. If they don't, then we don't have a right triangle. The key is the order here, it can be written in any order they'd like to give it to you. But what you have to always keep track of is what is the biggest side? What is C? C has to be the largest number. So C in this case has to be 58, even though it's the first number that we're given. A and B can be either or. That can be A, that can be B, or flip-flopped. It doesn't matter. So let's do 42 squared plus 40 squared. And let's do 58 squared. And let's see if they are equal. We shouldn't assume they're equal. Let's actually see if they are. So don't put an equal sign yet. Do 42 squared plus 40 squared. We get 3,364. We do 58 squared. And look, there it is, 3,364. Now we can say, yep, they're equal, which is great, which means it is a right triangle. Because it worked in the formula, it is a right triangle. All right, let's try one more here. So this time again, we've got our three side lengths. The biggest one has to be C. A and B can be either or. It doesn't matter. So we're going to test to C as A squared plus B squared equal to C squared. So let's do that. So 13 squared plus 84 squared. Does that equal 90 squared? So 13 squared plus 84 squared is 7,225, 90 squared, I know is not gonna be that, because nine times nine is 81, so an extra zero on it makes it 8,100, which is not equal. So no, not a right triangle. It has to be um, equal, with a squared plus b squared has to equal c squared um, in order to be a right triangle. So this would not be, since it does not follow that rule.